it's a pleasure to be here. I want to start by first and foremost thanking my mentor and his wife, Pastor Bisi Adewali and Mrs. Pastor Mrs. Yomi Adewali for this opportunity. I'm very grateful. Thank you so much for all that you have been doing. And um, I'm very grateful. Um, so this evening, um, at this conference, I hope everyone that has been attending since day one have been having a good time. And also, I believe God that by the end of this session, you will be blessed. So let's just quickly say a short prayer, and then we'll go right into my presentation. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, I commit this session into your hand. I ask King of Kings, Lord of Lord, that everyone that is here tonight, you will answer their questions concerning being able to make money online. I pray, King of Kings, Lord of Lord, that you will enlighten your people, that this knowledge that will be shared, O oh Lord, it would enlighten them. It would be a light onto their paths in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I pray, Lord, at the end of it all, it will point people to you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. So good evening, everyone. Um, tonight, I will be talking about how you can make money legitimately online. I'll be talking about how you can make money legitimately online. Um, let me quickly go into my um, slides. Let me share my screen with you so that you can start. I hope you can all see my screen. Let me see my screen. Let me just get it. Confirmation there. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. So yes, my my presentation tonight is titled "Making Legitimately Online for Your Family." Um, every family needs money. Um, a lot of things in the family um, require money. I myself have been married for over five years now, and I understand what the rule of money is. You know, um, money is very important in marriage. Um, and I will be honest with you, um, I've seen that a lot of issues in marriage can be associated with money. I believe that by the time take out money problems in marriages. Um, we will see that there will be few or less, much more less issues um, in marriages, you know. Um, and also the Bible also makes us to understand in Ecclesiastes 10, 19, that money has hired all things, you know. Um, the Bible emphasizing that um, is to tell us how important it is for us to pay attention to money and the things that money can do for us in our marriage. Um, one of the things I've seen is that a lot of families, you know, um, or marriages have run into problems because of one, um, it could be as a result of lack of money. Um, two, it could be as a result of pursuance of money, you know, trying to acquire money. And then, you know, um, the third one could be as a result of management of money. You know, um, the first two I mentioned are closely related with management of money. You know, but that's what the focus tonight. Um, the focus tonight is how to help and give insights to as many of us that are here on how we can make money legitimately online. You know, for ourselves and our family as the case may be. Um, so uh, we should understand that money is very, very important um, um, in, in, in the family and even for marriage as, as a whole. Um, the Bible also cautions us, you know, um, about money. Um, the scripture tells us that, you know, um, we shouldn't love money. Um, 
that's to let us understand that there must be a moderation in our way of acquiring money. Um, you know, First Timothy 6 10 says, you know, for the root of all evil, you know, um, is due to the love of money. And it is important that as, as we try to acquire money legitimately for ourselves or for our family, um, we must make sure that we temperance it with, with moderation. Because the moment we move into that area of loving money, um, there's a lot of things that can begin to emanate from it that can give problems to our family. Uh, my introduction is to just give us a context that in all of the things that I'll be sharing tonight, um, moderation is very key for every one of us. So um, in today's digital age, uh, making money has become a possibility for many, if not um, everyone. Um, once you have a chance to access the internet, you can be able to put your presence online and um, by several means online, you can easily uh, make money, either by selling your service, either by selling products, either by offering advice, you know, either by offering um, um, your talent, we can easily um, make money. But as Christians, um, we should be guided by the principles that we have seen in the Bible. As this will help, this will help us to be able to um, make money legitimately. This will help us to be able to um, make money in a way that will please God. Um, and we know that when we look at the Bible, there are few or a number of principles that we can find. For instance, uh, being someone of integrity, you know, um, being persistent. You know, um, being um, someone that is not prone to greed, you know, um, those are biblical principles that can guide us, that can help us, um, even in today's digital age, that has provided us several opportunities of making money. Um, my case, for example, um, I started digital marketing and digital media way back in um, 2013. Um, that was when I just graduated. And by the grace of God, with being diligent, with integrity to the best of my knowledge, um, with not being greedy, you know, God has helped me thus far. And I believe that, you know, there's still more to be done. A lot of opportunities, you know, have been opened for me. So um, to the extent to which um, we can make this money is not limited when we apply biblical principles. That is what I want us to first um, establish and understand from this first slide. You know, um, we, can, we can make money when we apply biblical principles. There's a lot of misconceptions around the fact that when you apply what is written in the word of God, um, it becomes difficult for you to make money or there's a limit to the amount of money you can make. I've heard a lot of believers say that, you know, um, um, this kind of money <laughs> is not godly, but I don't believe so. You know, when we follow biblical principles, there's no limitation to how much money we can make. Uh, because even our God himself is, is not limited by time, by space. And so we as children we can't be limited, you know. But there are certain things that guide us when we want to make money. So um, one of the first things that we need to do um, when we are considering making money online is to first and foremost um, make sure that we are ready to put in the work. Um, we must make sure that we work diligently and honestly. Um, recently, um, I have a mentee is into um, auto repairs, and I gave him just one single advice. I told him, if you're going to do well in this business, the only thing you need to apply in this business is 
I, I mean, the two things you need to apply in this business is hard work and integrity. And, you know, I tell you today, I've seen him grown. You know, he has grown from leaps and, you know, he's always appreciative of that single um, few five minutes or 15 minutes that we just had that discussion. I just told him, make sure that you are someone that people um, can find and see that you are hardworking and that you are an honest person. Once people see that in you, they can trust you and definitely they can keep working with you over time. So um, God values hard work and any form of online income that we want to do should come from legitimate efforts that glorify you. Um, we must avoid schemes or shortcuts that could harm or destroy our reputation. Um, there have been so many, um, you know, schemes that I've seen online and so many, um, I'll call them um, masquerading, that's the word, that I've seen online where a lot of people have presented things and by the time you are looking under it, it you are seeing that um, there's no honesty here and there's no legitimacy there, you know. So um, it is important for us to keep to that, that principle. Uh, when we look at Proverbs 13, 11, the Bible even honestly lets us know that, you know, dishonest money would bring you away. But when you gather money little by little, following the word of God, it will grow, you know. Um, and one example that comes to mind now is when you look at, I'm sure a lot of us have, have heard about Osh Poppy, right? Um, there was a time that the guy that was all over the internet um, seemed like, for quotes, he was making legitimate money. But now, he's nowhere. And there are, all those, there are also several people like that, you know, that, have, that, have, that are seemingly looking like they are making a lot of money. But at the end of, and at the, end of the day, the money has dwindled away. And, you know, they are, you know, the best case scenario, worse off than the way they were before. And I pray for every one of us that that won't be our case. So it's important for us to make sure that we embrace diligence and we embrace honesty if we're going to make money online. These are things that will help us to be able to make legitimate money online. Um, second thing that I would like to highlight for us in our in some of the characters that we need to be able to make money is stewardship of our time and talents. Um, truth be told, all of us possess unique skills and talents that God has blessed us with. And the internet today um, is a creation of God because I believe that there's nothing on earth that God doesn't know about. Nobody has the power to create anything. Um, every innovation, every thing that is created, trust me, is, is true the inspiration of God. Um, the devil cannot create anything, you know. Um, so it's important that, you know, when we look at our skills and talent that God has blessed us with, um, we can use it to the, to, the, to the betterment of ourselves and to the glory of God, um, even embracing the opportunities that the internet offers. Um, this gift can be used to earn an income. For example, um, let's say you're good with content creation. Um, you can write, you can, you can put ideas. If someone shares an idea with you, you can articulate it and put it into writing. Um, someone wants to present things to people, you can easily help them to arrange how they can present it. You know, these are things that people do that help um, to make money online. And, you know, when we look at our talents that God has given us, I tell you, um, talent is what I see as, as value that God has embedded in us. Um, when I was going to start my own company, one of the things I discovered about myself was that um, I love helping people to announce the things they do. And, you know, it started from my university days. And the only thing I just did um, when I went to social media was to work on that talent and be able to use the internet to amplify it. And by the grace of God today, um, we are an established brand online um, across the various popular social media platforms. And also, you know, um, when we look at the scripture in 1 Peter 4, 10, it says, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. What this is telling us is 
when we use our gifts to serve others, definitely um, people would appreciate us. You know, um, people would give us gifts. And these gifts can definitely be in form of money. Um, even when we use our talents, the gifts that God has given us, um, it can become a business. Just that the same way that um, we in um, Random Star Marketing have been able to create a platform like Niger PR, you know, to be able to help businesses to amplify their voices, to announce the things that they do online. And, you know, um, it requires us to be a good steward of our time and talent. And so everyone that is attending the conference tonight, I want to tell you that God has implanted in you a value, a talent that is inside of you, and you need to grow it so that that, that, that talent that is inside of you can begin you know, to be something that people would value and people can part away with their money to be able to to be able to um um exchange you know to as a means of exchange for you to offer whatever value that is coming from your talent so you have what's what's what is required to make money online um you may need to prone it you may need to work on it you may need to train yourself to be better but one thing i want you to know tonight is whatever you need to make an income legitimately online God has put it inside of you. You may just need to, to, to grow it. You may need to expose yourself to, to new knowledge on how to be able to put that talent to use and to be able to see how you can create an avenue where people will be able to come to you and say, oh, can you do this for me? Let me pay you this. Or what, what's your rate? How much would you charge me? You know. Um, so when we are good stewards of our time and talent, definitely this will help us to be able to make money online number three another thing that we need to do in our quest to be able to make money online is to avoid greed and trust in god's provision um there's always the temptation to chase wealth and put our trust in money especially in the world that we are today that there's a lot of um competition in the online market space um if you say you're a good writer there are several other writers out there you know um but more importantly, you know, the Bible cautions us against greed and, you know, reminds us to always put our trust in God um, who promises to provide for every of our need. God has assured us that we should not worry about what we eat or drink, that we shouldn't be like the hidden, and that he would definitely, definitely provide all that we need for us. Um, a very practical example of this is, I remember when um, in 20... 19 um for niger PR. that was really the change you know of our course as a business and god helped us i remember at that time we were already online um we were a bit popular but as as popular as we were we we're not getting um inquiries and a number of offers came um this is a brand that is based on media and let me just be practical here um, one of the things that happened at that time was in the media, one of the things that is striving that can quickly get you a lot of money is blackmailing, you know. And a number of offers came that looked like that. And I, I remember standing my ground to say, no, anything that looks like um, blackmail, um, we are not going to do it. And we never promoted any of such things, you know. I also remember there was a time that a number of people were coming and by the time we tried to find out what their service was about, we saw that it wasn't legitimate. And, um, you know, we, we didn't take, we didn't take their money. You know, we didn't take, we didn't allow them to use our platform to amplify their, their scams. That's the word. You know, once we, we check your business out and we see that, um, there's a lot of questions that we don't understand about it, irrespective of how ever our business may need money. We never took it. We never took the ads. You know, we never allowed them to, 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 to be part of what we do. And, you know, one of the things that was guiding me at that time was to ensure that was to ensure that um, immediately um, we don't accept such 
definitely we are preventing them from being able to access people and being able to defraud them. So it's important for us to put that in check. Um, one thing is this, um, no matter how much money you are making, you still need money. It's just a fact. And so when we put our greed in check and we allow God to be our source, we see ourselves being able to um, um, being able to work on those principles we can see in the word of God. And definitely you see that God will definitely um, make those provisions available. And with time, I tell you, with time, all those people that are bringing those scams, gradually we saw that um, a lot of them um, didn't even try to make inquiries again. And then when I started having the A-class brands coming to us, brands like MCN, Multi-Choice, um, GT Bank, and the likes, and we started, you know, working with them. And we felt peaceful, felt restful about our partnership with those brands. Um, the fourth thing that you need to do is maintaining balance and integrity. Um, it's important to, um, you know, pick wisdom from the scriptures and to make sure that as much as possible, um, we maintain a balance between, um, you know, our inquiry or our our ambitions to make money and our family. And that's one thing I've been able to do over the years. Um, there was a time uh, over the years that I was very outgoing. And, you know, um, by the time I started my family, I saw that there was a need for me to stay with them, you know. And so at some point, I had to um, relinquish some inquiries, some offer, some opportunities that came. And being able to do this wasn't that I had a billionaire. No, it was because I trusted God, it was because I knew what the scripture said about being balanced. So what I want us to understand is um, it's important for us to make sure that as we, we try to make legitimate money online, we also don't exhaust ourselves. We try, ourselves, we try as much as possible to go in moderation, which as much as possible to pace ourselves. And then also we look at the most important things at a particular time and do it. So maintaining that balance will help us to be able to grow more. And that has helped me over the years. And today we are still growing. For instance, let me give you an instance. Um, there was a time, um, our blog, nigeriapr.com blog, we had it. And there was a time we couldn't even afford to really maintain it. I had to shut it down. But in the last two years now, it's back up. And we are going at that pace. Before we started in the last two years, I actually planned for it for over six months to make sure that, you know, as we start, there won't be any reason for us to shut down again. And this is, you know, this is what it means to balance things, even when you try to uh, make money online. So we must understand that, you know, um, making money legitimately online must come with a balance with our family. And um, the fifth thing, which is the most important thing for every business that I always advise everyone, um, it is perseverance and consistency. Um, if there's something that today, I look at a number of people that we started um, the media business together. Um, this is the key thing that I've seen that has been a difference between uh, my company right now and theirs. Um, a number of my friends at some point, they dropped off because they felt like there was no future in this. Um, there was no way you'll be able to make um, good money out of this. You know, but today, um, I, I kid you not, um, my business right now, we're doing over six figures, you know, some months, seven figures in a month. And, you know, and this is a team that is not so big. So you can, you can see that, you know, um, with perseverance and consistency, um, you can make a whole lot. Um, whatever you're doing right now online, if you're not getting it right, just keep being persistent with it. Try to look at ways you can better it. Try to look at um, things that you're not doing right. And by the time you start to do those things right, you will see that um, you see a lot of changes. Um, let me give you an example of how perseverance and consistency helps. Uh, when I was starting Nigeria, 
Um, a lot of people will look at that name and they'll be wondering, oh, Niger PR. Okay, so it was supposed to be a brand that would definitely just promote Nigerian brands alone. Uh, I checked online, I saw that there was no brand that was particular about just promoting Nigerian businesses and you know and 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 making it their work that this is the only thing that they do. And that was what I started with. Um, and then by the time I got to 2018, 2019, I realized that we needed to do more. We needed to add a form of news to it. We needed to add a form of entertainment to it, you know, due to reading wide and also checking what others were doing. By the time I saw this, and by the time we added news and entertainment to it, um, our growth moved from over 150,000 followers to um, over 2 million within a year, you know. And so uh, one of the things that helped us to be able to achieve that was really being perseverance and being consistent. And also I would, I would recollect, I want to reference a particular point, you know, when uh, Pastor BC saw me and, you know, he said, Ayo, ah, your account still has 150K followers. You can do more than this. Account can actually get to 200,000. This account can actually get to 300,000. This account can get to 500,000. I'm sure that year, by the time you saw it at 2 million, it wasn't surprised. And, you know, um, it's been his encouragement. I will tell you that um, these are some of the words that helped me to be able to say, okay, what else should I do to this thing to be able to raise it from 150K upward? Um, and to be frank with you, we stayed at this 150K for over two years. You know, at some point it was even coming down. You know, but by the time we added a few more things to it through perseverance and consistency, we were able to grow and we we're able to reach more people. And the same thing is what I want to encourage everyone that is here tonight that if there's anything you're online, so fight is legitimate. Please persevere and be consistent with it. If you're not getting results, all you need to do is go and check out people that are doing something similar to what you're doing. Find out those things that they are doing that you're not doing and see how you can add those things to it. And by the time you had those things, the little things that we had to whatever we do can help us to produce a very great result. And in conclusion for this session, um, it is easier now than ever before to make money online via the internet, just as in the physical offline world. What it requires of us is being diligent and for believers, a commitment to biblical values like honesty, patience, and a willingness to work. Um, these values, these biblical values I've seen now are becoming something that is becoming more rare nowadays. And I tell you, when you have something that is rare, you see that um, that thing appreciates. Um, for instance, a case with diamonds, a case with gold, a, gold, a case with gold around the world. Why those, those metals or those elements have value is because of how rare they are to be able to come by. So um, when you invite biblical values like honesty, patience, and willingness to do the work, trust me, um, you will get results. Use the talent God has given you, trust in his provision, and maintain integrity in all that you do. And please don't compare yourself to others, and also don't be in a hurry. Uh, once you don't do this, um, I believe that you'll be able to make a whole lot of money legitimately online. These are the things that I've applied in random data marketing and Nigeria underscore PR as a whole. And it has really helped me. And also it is possible and able to build a sustainable online income in a godly way. Um, it's possible. You can do it. Um, we that we're doing it, um, we don't have to wait. And I believe that you that are not yet doing it, you can also do it. And you that are even, even doing it right now, you can do much more. And we that we're doing it right now, we can even do much more. Um, online in a godly way. So let's talk about things to do to make legitimate money online. I'll just quickly um, share some few things that we can do for as many that need ideas. Like I said, those talents are inside of you. So um, some of the things I may say may resonate with you. And I feel that we all have our pain here. Just write whatever resonates with you down and see how you can transfer it to become something that you can do online. So making legitimate online require a mix of skills, creativity, strategy, and integrity. And here are some practical steps to follow that will help us um, to be able to make legitimate money online. 
Meanwhile, keeping in line with biblical principles. Identify your skills and talents. Um, in Proverbs 22, 29, the Bible says, um, set a man diligence in his way. Um, he will not stand before um, me and me will stand before kings. Um, it is important for us to understand that our talents are a gift from God. And the online um, community offers many opportunities for us to be able to use them for him. Uh, be it writing, be it graphics designing, be it coding, be it teaching or crafting. Um, just find an area where you can offer your talent or your expertise. Whatever, uh, when you hear the word, it's just your talent being refined. Is your talent being developed? Is your talent being pruned? Is you working on your talent? When you work on your talent, that's why they will say, oh, we need your expertise here. So when we when we work on the talent that God has given us, we'll see that people will offer many opportunities for us to use them. And through that, we'll be able to make the income for ourselves and our family. Then the second thing we can do is not to stay idle. Don't stay idle. I remember when um, I was still building, I, uh, um, I provided a lot of consultancy services. And, you know, um, one of the places <laughs> that I was allowed to provide consulting services is Booster Ministries. Thanks to Pastor Bisi Adewali. Um, I met him at the conference and it was just the 15 minutes talk and he gave me opportunities. Opportunities, opportunities, you know, to the glory of God. Um, I would say, you know, my first huge contract came as 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 a as a result of him putting his word out. And he still do that from time to time. This is something he's been doing for over a, over a decade right now. Yeah. Or close to a decade, right? You know, um, um, I'm very grateful for that. So don't stay high, do don't stay high, do. Um, you can pursue freelance work or remote jobs. Um, if your building is not yet bringing in um, the results you expect, um, you don't need to wait. You can offer your service on Upwork. You can put your service on Fiverr. You know, you can lower your price on those platforms. For instance, if the market going rate is, let's say, $10 per hour, because you are not yet that good, you can put your own at $5. You can put your own at $1. You can put your own at $3. Because the more you work, the more you'll be able to grow. The more you have, you face complex problems, the more you'll be able to prune and improve yourself. And before you know it, you, you also will be able to you know, charge competitive prices in the market. So um, for Nigeria, we didn't start charging over 200,000 for a post today. You know, we started from the place of charging 5,000, you know, to the place of charging 15,000. And, and, and that's how you're able to grow. So, um, and also even growing with that, I also had worked in several places. I'd consulted in several places, you know, while also monitoring the growth of Nigeria, which I now do um, a lot now because it requires a lot. For us, once we discover the talent that God has given us and our skill, we can easily, you know, begin to work on it. And as we work on it, we can explore these um, platforms where we can easily upload our profile, like Upwork, Fiverr. And now that the economy is at where it is now, um, I was telling a friend some months ago, I said, this is time that you should consider making a lot of dollars. Um, if you imagine if you make just ten dollars, ten dollars is, is close to sixteen thousand, close to twenty thousand naira now. You know, can I imagine when you make a thousand dollars? Now you are making close to two million a month. You know, and and that's that's something very good, and that's what what these platforms can provide for you, and that's what the online community entirely will provide for us. Um, you can also start a blog or YouTube channel. I've seen a number of people start YouTube channel, but one of the problems that they always have is consistency and being diligent. And a lot of time, um, the, 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 the discouragement that they see from it is that uh, people do my content. But I always tell people that, that have asked me that, see, keep doing it. Keep improving on the quality. One day, one day, just one of your, one of your videos will have as much as a million views. Yeah, the, the people that you are seeing having 10 million views didn't get there today. They also started with doing probably a whole lot of content that just had like 10 views, 15 views, 30 views, you know. And so when you do that, and more importantly, as Christians, we pray. So when we pray to God, definitely God will establish us. 
and it will, it will help our plans. So creating content online can lead to income through advertising, sponsorship, or affiliate marketing. Um, let me just dwell a little bit more on this place. Um, a lot of people wonder, oh, how do we make money in Niger PR? One of the ways we make money on Niger PR is through advertising. A lot of brands come to us and they buy ads from us. They, they send their content to us for us to post. So some of the content that you see on our page, they are paid for, you know. And that's how we make money. Secondly, and that we make money is through the platforms themselves, like YouTube. If your channel on YouTube is doing well, YouTube pays you. Like Twitter now, Twitter pays us um, every two weeks. So in a month, we earn substantial amount of money twice, you know. And at some point, let me just let me just let me just put it on Twitter. We're doing over 2.4 million in a month. That's like over 1.2 million every two weeks. You know, we're not doing that now, right? <laughs> but that's at some point, you know, and that was like last year. Okay, so um, these platforms also pay us. And so can also make money via affiliate marketing, by you promoting other people's products. You have a good social media account that is doing well. If you love a product, you like their product, you can, you can search that company, see whether they offer affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is more like if you help me sell a phone, you get a commission of it. And if you do, they will give you a special code. Once you put it on your social media platform and somebody through your link buys, you get payment from it. And that's the way we make money online legitimately. Um, you can also sell your product or your craft online. It's easier to sell product or craft online these days. Um, all you need to do is um, verify yourself with Jumia, Kunga, GG, or even social media platform. I've seen people that are doing um, several millions just from WhatsApp, um, just from Instagram, or even Facebook and Twitter. People are selling a whole lot. If you have a good product that you have, that you're proud of, or you're even improving your product, your product doesn't have to, to even be very perfect. You know, you can put it on those platforms at a good rate. People ask, oh, I would like to buy this. I would like to buy that. A lot of things that I bought online, um, I, can't, I can't even remember how much I bought from Instagram vendors or even just WhatsApp vendors, you know. So you can you can, you can do that. And also, if you're good with writing, you can put your books on a platform like Sela or Amazon and you make a whole lot of money by the time people start reading your books or they start downloading them. Also, you can become an online instructor. Um, Teaching is one thing that right now I believe is 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 like a is like the new crude oil. If you if you begin to put um your 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 articles or things that you can write on a subject from like Udemy, people buy those those courses and they just read it. Um, in the last six months, I think I've spent over close to three hundred k on Udemy you know, buying different courses. You know. Um, for myself to be able to improve my knowledge, so it's 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 profitable. And once you put it once, it, it's it's more like a a residual income. It will keep coming. The more the moment somebody buys, you are getting the moment. And you don't sometimes you don't even need to apply it to anybody. Just upload it there as an online tutor instructor. Somebody that needs it tomorrow will buy it. And that's how you can easily make money online. Another way is affiliate marketing. I think I've explained how affiliate marketing works. Just for promoting of and any and any commission for sales through your referral link. And website like Amazon sales, share a sale or commission. And even our Jumia, Jumia, Jumia of our companies in Nigeria offer of affiliate marketing. I know of Jumia, I know of Kunga. I don't know about Gigi. I've done Jumia before and I made a lot of money from Jumia. Um, I've not I've never done Kunga, but I signed up for Kunga. You know, um, you can offer, you can you can use it, those affiliate, affiliate marketing channels and you can easily make some money. Of it. Um, also, you can invest in e-commerce. Um, you see, I use the word invest for a reason. Um, it's e-commerce is a bit uh, cash intensive. You know, um, it's important to to um, find out about the costing of e-commerce. E-commerce is when you set up a shop and you can people can easily come to your product and buy. So if you don't yet have um, um, enough. What I would say is there are several other platforms you can leverage on their e-commerce platform like Jumia, Kunga, and the likes, and just products there, and people can buy. So, but for if you want to do real e-commerce, you need to invest in it and you need money back. That's that's basically what Jumia, Kunga, and GG are doing their e-commerce platforms. Um, also, lastly, we need to be cautious of scams. Uh, we need to ensure that opportunities are legitimate. And I just want to also explain something here. 
Um, we should avoid any of our promises quick wealth or ask for upfront fees without clear service. Um, let me give you an example of something that happened to me. This is come anyway. At the end of the day, it was crypto. Um, when crypto first came, at that time, I remember they were selling Bitcoin for 900k. And to be honest with you, at that time, I could buy two Bitcoins easily without blinking an eye. But I asked questions. I didn't understand it. And I didn't invest in it. You know, um, I even remember when Bitcoin was at 3.5 million. I still did because I didn't understand it. I'm not saying Bitcoin is a scam or crypto is a scam. But um, what I want to bring out here is anything you don't understand properly, please don't go into it. Don't even invest in it. I beg of you. Ask the right questions. Make sure that you understand it. Don't just hear, oh, they make money. They make money for me. They make money here. No, don't just put your money there. Make sure that, so that when you understand it, if things um, don't go the way you expect, you understand why things are the way they are, you know. So, and today, I don't have any regrets not doing crypto to date, you know. Yeah, now I have a, I have a crypto wallet, right? But I, I, I didn't regret investing at that time because I didn't understand it. And so whatever you don't understand, please don't, don't just go near it. Research well before you engage in any online job or business. Do your best to verify any online business offer. And if you find that you can't verify this claim and you don't even understand the business, please just don't do it. Don't do it. It may be a legitimate offer, but try to understand whatever you are going into. Um, I, I think um, I've been able to do justice. And I want to say thank you so much. I think now I can take questions um, from off. Um, if we have questions. Thank you very much, sir. And in conclusion, by focusing on your talents and offering real value and working diligently, you can earn good money online without doing anything legal. Remember that integrity is just as important online as it is offline. God bless you. I pray that all this that you have heard, your spirit will expand it in your heart and that you'll be able to apply it to your business. And if you don't yet know what to do, I pray that the few ideas I've shared, um, the Lord will help you to be able to see that talent which he has put inside of you and in whatever area that you can apply it online. And God will begin to bring it to you in Jesus' name.